So what are the essential need to know knots that you should learn first when starting out with boating? Well, in today's video, I've got my top five most useful knots and some tips on how and when to use them. Welcome to Lake Life. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Favstar and on this channel, I'll be covering all things lake life. Now this includes cottage lifestyle, outdoor adventures, boating and water sports, and lake life inspired DIY projects. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's jump into my top five most useful boating knots. The first knot I'll be covering is the cleat hitch. Now this is the knot you'll be using to tie your boat to a dock. As a cottage owner or casual boater, this is likely the knot that you'll be using the most. Now before we begin, we'll have to tie our dock line to our boat. Now most dock lines available today come pre-spliced with a loop in one end. Now to secure this to our boat, we'll simply pass the loop up through the boat's mooring cleat and then loop it around the horns of the cleat. To tie a cleat hitch, start with passing your dock line through the center of the cleat. Then wrap the line a few times around the cleat. I'll try to do as many wraps as I can and still allow enough room to complete two figure eight patterns. Finish the last two loops of the figure eight pattern by flipping the loop over so the line pinches itself snug. Next up is the double half hitch. Now there will be times when you'll need to park at a location without standard dock cleats. You may encounter a ring cleat, a post, or something as simple as a two by four rail. Now in those situations, I'll use the double half hitch. To tie a double half hitch, pass the line around the rail, making a loop. Pass the line over the standing end and back through the loop. Repeat this process with a second loop and cinch it tight. To release this knot, simply pry on the loops to separate. The next knot I'll cover is the bowline knot. Now this knot is used when you need to make a fixed loop in the end of a line. This is perfect for connecting two ropes together for water sports or for towing another boat. To tie a bowline, I like to begin by holding the line in a U shape like this. Then make a loop with the long end of the line. Pass the free end through the loop, around the long line, and back through the loop. As you can see, this knot won't slip and will tighten under tension. To release the knot, simply apply pressure to the loop and it easily comes apart. The next knot is the clove hitch. Now the main use of the clove hitch is for securing your dock fenders to a rail. Tie a clove hitch to a rail by wrapping the free end around the rail. 
Wrap around the rail a second time and allow the line to pass over itself. Slip the free end under the second loop and cinch tight. The last knot I'll cover is the figure eight knot. Now this knot is normally tied in the end of a line to prevent it from sliding through a hole. To tie a figure eight knot, create a loop with the free end of the line. Then create a second loop which passes underneath the line, then through the first loop in the shape of a figure eight. Pull the line tight to ensure that it won't pass through the hole. All right guys, that concludes my list of my top five most useful knots used in boating. Now, if there's a knot that you think I missed that belongs on this list, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed the video or learned something useful, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.